Hello, people in the house. Are doing? I'm going to kind of talk about this, and I would like everybody to kind of listen. To be honest, like hear me out. I suppose for a few minutes. I know a lot of people might just start getting out the flags of war, but hold the flags of war for a few minutes and put the neutral flags on for a few, few, few minutes. I'm only asking for a few minutes. It's not much. Ten or fifteen minutes of your time would be lovely. I mean, seriously, just ten or fifteen minutes. So. Everybody knows where Ireland is, I'm sure. If you don't know where Ireland is, I suppose it's small enough, so you probably wouldn't see it on the map anyway. Uh, so everybody knows what the EU is, I'm sure. A big pile of big countries taking they can bully around small countries that have small populations and won't say shit to the EU. And this is what's happening to Ireland. This is exactly what's happening to Ireland. Germany, France and the United Kingdom... And Brussels and Belgium and every other country that's big and has a big economy is bully in Ireland. It's not worried about what Ireland, what's wrong with Ireland. And the Irish government care about what happened to them. And they do not care about what happens to us. We could all die of famine in this country and they really couldn't give a fuck in France or the United Kingdom. As long as they are right, they couldn't give a fuck about Ireland. And as simple as that. And we go around and we pussy fit around the United Kingdom and the Taoiseach and all that goes and pussy fits over to Berlin and over to Angela Morf and pussy fits around her. And if she falls, oh, Angela, you're weak. No, that's shite. It's just ridiculous. If I, we stood alone for 700 years, alone in the middle of the Atlantic for 700 years, under British control, and fighting to be free. And nobody came to help us then. And nobody's coming to help us now. When we're struggling with our health service. With homelessness. With our defence forces. And with nearly everything in this state. And nobody in Europe cares. The Irish government might take they're doing something good. But we stood alone for 700 years without any country giving a hell about us. Belgium, France, the United Kingdom let us starve, let us die of our food, no food, let the potato famine happen. And no one cared in the other countries that half a million, the nearly two million people died. That so, so many people emigrated. And that Ireland's population never regained its tragedy than what it was back then. The Irish people, only for them emigrating, would have never, America wouldn't be a great power as it is today. The Irish built America. They built it from the ground up. They built historic landmarks. The person who built the Oval Office in the White House was from Ireland, who designed the White Office, the White House office, where the President sits now in the White House, it was designed by an Irishman. All because they had to leave because of the famine and because of British rule. And no one in Europe cared. That there was absolutely massacres going on on the island of Ireland. And they only cared about their own selves. And they could not care about what happens in Ireland. And to this day, they really could not care. As long as they have their fortunes. As long as they have their land. And Ireland should not care about what France or the United Kingdom does. If the United Kingdom gets attacked, it's their own business. If France gets attacked... It's their own business. If Ireland gets attacked, it's our business. But if any other country gets attacked, it's none of our business. The, the English government wet because of the Taliban's attack on a Russian spy and pointed the finger straight away at Russia without any proof. And they couldn't guarantee. And the whole European Union was like, wait, we're going, to, we're going against Russia. Yeah, we're standing against the United Kingdom. They have all the money and the wealth in the world. So we stand against them. We get something out of this. And Ireland, the big clubs in the door and in the government, decided to suspend one Russian person 
with no proof. That's then what I take about. No proof. If that has showed evidence, then we would have been like, right, we might take about it. But no. We were like, oh, there's no proof, so we might as well go with the United Kingdom. They're never, they're never wrong. So, they never said any help for us when we joined the famine show. They were ne they're never wrong. It was our own fault. Of course not. The British were taking all the food out of Ireland and giving it, putting it into the United Kingdom. And burning people's house down to the ground. And if you're going to say that's our fault, it's the British Army's fault. But as I was saying, Ireland stood alone for 700 years without any country in the world coming to her aid when she needed it most. And the Irish people had to stand up for themselves. Not France or any other country would stand up for Ireland. And Ireland gained her independence herself. Her men, her women fought for her freedom and died for her freedom in France and Germany and the rest of the world did not care less. Many millions of Irish people died and as soon as something happened to France or the rest of the countries Ireland had to come running to them. As Eamon de Valois said in World War II Ireland is neutral and will not take part in any fighting or any attempts in war. But still we had an emergency in this country and rationing our food to help the British Empire fight their war. And it's not, and as he said, it is not Ireland's war. And today I say, it's none of Ireland's business what other countries do. And it's none of the other countries' business what Ireland does. We are our own independent state. We are independent. We don't need the EU, EU standing right beside us like, Oh, you have to pay us this much, that much. That's what they like. Because they can bully around a country that won't say anything. And that is absolutely terrified of the EU. But I say, as an Irish man, and as a person who's going to stand, it please God, if I'm alive, I will stand for... Uh, Government, or for the office of ours on Neutron, the President of the Republic of Ireland. And please God, it won't be the Republic when I'm here. It'd be Ireland, not our Republic. It'd be Ireland, not our Republic. Please God, when I get there, Ireland will feed herself. We'll not meet any other country to help us. We'll build herself up. We'll build our defence forces up ourselves. We will not take any money from the EU. And please God. Nothing will ever happen to Ireland. In the years to come. And if any country attacks us. We are neutral. And we will always be neutral. Until the day all of us on this island dies. We hang on to our neutral strategy for everlasting life of this great nation of ours. Thank you.